Welcome back guys, Tony here. We're back with another video. Today we are going to talk about critical fasteners. And what is a critical fastener? These are fasteners on your motorcycle. I'm talking Sportster specific here. Uh, they're different for, you know, Dynas and Softails and things like that. But Sportster specific critical fasteners that Harley has designated something to really keep an eye on because they do work themselves loose over time with the vibration and the shakes that a Harley has. So what are these critical fasteners? Well, I'm gonna tell you. So we're gonna go down the list here and then we're gonna go out to the garage and I'm gonna show you exactly where these fasteners are and I'm gonna give you torque specifications for each one. Now with torque specifications, we're gonna have inch pounds and foot pounds. So you're gonna need a torque wrench that can do both or two separate torque wrenches. In my situation, I have two separate ones. So with that in mind, let's go down the list. First is gonna be your brake reservoir. This is the actual cap on the brake. The, the screws tend to work themselves loose. The switch housings, again, something that works itself loose. The handlebar clamps, the handlebar control clamps, the front fork pinch bolts, the front and rear axle bolts, the banjo bolts on your brakes, your front isolator, that is your main motor mount at the bottom, works itself, it, it can, mine actually did, so that was something that I, I check pretty regular now. And your motor mount, that is on top by the cylinders on the front, that also, those bolts can work themselves loose from the constant vibration. So those are kind of Harley's critical fasteners. So there's the list, let's go out and take a look and see where they are and find out the torque values for them. All right, guys, so let's start out on the right side of the bike. This is your brake reservoir. You have two of them. You have one in the front and one in the back. These two screws have a tendency of coming loose, so they're considered critical fasteners. These need to be torqued down to 9 to 17 inch pounds, both the front and the rear. Be careful when you're doing it because these screws are very easy to booger. Guys, banjo bolts. Here's your reservoir. It's going to be on the right side of the bike. Right underneath it is a banjo bolt. You follow this cable down and you're going to find your second banjo bolt and there's also the ones in the back. These banjo bolts are important because they need to have a leak proof seal. So with these you want to double check them and you want to make sure they're 14 to 18 foot pounds. Our handlebar clamp, four bolts right there. Uh, I've had these come loose quite a bit so I check these pretty often. So, with that being said, these need to go 12 to 18 foot-pounds. Switch housings. We have one screw underneath and one on top, both left and right. These are 35 to 45 inch-pounds. And then we have our handlebar clamps, our control clamps. Again, both sides. These need to go 128 to 152 inch-pounds. These are your fork pinch bolts. You have one here and you have one lower. You have them on both sides of the bike. Again, these are something you have to check. These are going to be 21 to 27 foot pounds. Guys, right above the front exhaust on the front cylinder, you're going to see this contraption here with some bolts. There's one on the left and one on the right. Now, these have worked their way loose on me, so you need to keep an eye on these for sure. And these are going 25 to 35 foot, foot pounds. Right underneath, there's going to be a big bolt. Uh, my forward controls are in the way, so you can't see it. But that is the front isolator. That is your main motor mount. So you want to go and you want to make sure that thing is torqued down 95 to 105 foot pounds. Again, that's something that has worked its way loose on me. So it's definitely worth uh, keeping an eye on that. Uh, the other two I'm really not going to show you because they're pretty self-explanatory. It's your front and rear axle bolts. Uh, your rear axle bolt goes 95 to 105 foot-pounds and your front axle bolt goes 60 to 65 foot-pounds. I have not had any trouble with those but not saying that you won't. But those are basically all your critical fasteners on your bike. So I would say, like I said, about every thousand miles, take a look at it and see what you got. 
Well, all right, guys, there's the rundown of all the critical fasteners. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so. There should be a button right over here that's going to get you all hooked up. I really would appreciate it. And like always, guys, ride safe and be careful out there. And until next time, later.